So Chris, a big um, European game for Bohemian Football Club. Um, sadly, under the circumstances, no fans will be able to travel with you. Um, and it's a new experience for so many people. What do you think it's going to be like? Well, uh, you said it's a new experience for a lot of people and for me, for me as well. It's, this will be my first opportunity in, in, in Europe to play. And, and it's a young squad as well, so I think for a lot of young players, it's, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity and, and it'll, it'll develop us as a whole as well. And it'll be a good experience to get away. But like you said, without fans and without our fans coming, it's, it, it, uh, it's unfortunate for them because they, they were there for, for the whole start of the season and, and they, they deserve that experience too. Um, so yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really exciting opportunity for us. And your start of the season, and particularly since the restart, you've been you've been flying, haven't you? Yeah, you know what? Uh, it's obviously it's obviously something where we're, we're anytime you go into a big match, you want to be confident. Uh, we've five wins in a row, uh, so it's 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 playing with confidence. It, it's you can't compare it. it. It makes you it makes you more comfortable on the ball. It makes you more excited to do things. So. Um, as a group, we're, we're really confident just to, just to give a good account of ourselves. From your own point of view, you must be very pleased with your form, though. I mean, you, you've been on fire recently. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, it's, it's one of those things where uh, coming to, coming to bows and, and sometimes you just fit into a certain structure and in, in, into a certain team. And, and, um, and the way we've set up, it's, it, it suits my, my, my attributes. And, and my attributes suit the team, so uh, so sometimes it's just a good recipe, and, and, and it's a place that I enjoy. To, I love being here, and it's and it's and it's great to be a part of. Um, but obviously, there's, there's so many other players that have had great great form as well. But you're uh, you're in the title race now. I mean, I'm sure, no matter what Keith says, just two points behind Shamrock Rovers. That's your your next league fixture. Yeah, you know what? Obviously, it's that's you know what? It's it's one of those things where. If, if that was next week, we'd be so excited for it. But, but just with this big game, and it's probably for us, you know, it's 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 a real attraction for players to come to the club and and to be a part of uh, of European football. So really, that's that's our main focus for now. Um, but obviously, it's just exciting to have big matches coming up. And and as 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 a club, you know, it's it's exciting to be a part of of you know European football. And and yeah, we're really looking forward to that. How many Canadians are, are playing in Europe? There's Alfonso Davis, obviously. And well, you. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know what? There's there's more and more growing. It's I, th I was telling some of the boys at the club that uh, that that football's now the the biggest grassroots sport in the country. Uh, you know, it's more than ice hockey, and and it's and it's definitely growing. And with with role models and 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 unbelievable talent of Alfonso Davies it's going to be more and more people that will aspire to be him so it's so it's fantastic and there's a new league in the country there's uh, there's the World Cup obviously being hosted there in 2026 so so there's a lot of positives for for Canadian football so it's so it's great the fact that you're playing in Europe with Bohemians oh, that must get you on, on on the radar for Canadians well you know what uh, in the past I've, I've had a I had a call up or, or two and uh, and that was unbelievable to be a part of um, and like you said, all you can do is kind of focus on your club football and, and then the rest kind of takes care of itself if, if, if you're doing well. Well, listen, we, we should continue success, particularly on Thursday, because I think uh, a success for an Irish team in Europe is, is, is good for the coefficient. It's good for the entire absolutely. league. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know what, it's one of those things where it's obviously a class team. Um, they're, they're, uh, they're at home as well. So it's just an opportunity for us to, to give a good account of the league and, and ourselves when, when we're in, in good form. Best of luck to you. Thanks. Uh, Andre, the season has gone particularly well, especially since the restart for Bohemians. Why do you think that is? You've been playing so well. Um, I think it's the work that we've put in over the break. I think um, we took a lot of time to um, look back at our games prior, prior to the break and just evaluate and improve. And on top of that, just been putting in the work. Like We've had um, a good team to be able to keep us going and pushing to get even better. It seems, though, I was here last Saturday, uh, quite free-flowing, producing lots of chances. Yeah, um, I, think that, I think that comes from the confidence with the team. Just, um, like, when you have confidence, like, things o o o almost become effortless. So, um, I think that's one of the main, main things that you see. How did you enjoy the game against, uh, uh, who were you playing last Saturday? Uh, St. Pat's? Um, it was really enjoyable, yeah. Um, the weather didn't help, but... Um, that gave us a bit of look that we needed for the first goal. But yeah, um, I really enjoyed it to get the goal as well. It's Absolutely, yeah. And uh, how would you rate your form at the moment? You seem to be in a particularly rich vein of form. <laughs> um, I, I, um, I wouldn't know how to rate it, but I think um, for me per personally, the team helps me do what I'm able to do. So 
as much as it's down to my form, it's about the team, team, team as well. Of course, playing in Europe would present different challenges, particularly in the light of COVID and, and all the arrangements around this game. Yeah, um, I think everyone was expecting to um, have the fans at the ground to bring what we have here at Daily Mount and bring it over to Hungary as well. But um, unfortunately, that's not the case. So they're going to be supporting through the streaming service. So um, it's going to be unusual, but we've been play playing with it for a while now. So it shouldn't be um, too, too, too indifferent to what we've been doing. And playing in Europe, though, kind of puts you in the shop window, doesn't it? Um, I think so, yeah. But um, I, have, I haven't really thought, of, thought, thought about that, really. It's just about going there and just trying to win the game. <laughs> Now, you're only two points behind Shamrock Rovers. We, we have a title race now this season, it seems. Um, in regards to Rovers, we haven't um, thought, thought about them or anyone else for that matter, to be honest. We've just been focusing on ourselves. Um, and I think that's why we've been able to play, play the way we have been. Just being um, um, self-evaluating self after every game, just making sure that we get better and get, and get game by game. And then whatever happens, happens. It is the next league game, though. Yeah, yeah. You win is. that, you go top of the league. Um, like, you know, that would be good for everyone, you know. Um, it's a big game. Those are the games that we all like, want to play, in, so I'm looking forward to that one as well. And how have you personally found dealing with COVID, lockdown, and obviously you have difficulty having to get home in that? Um, it's been difficult, um, you, you know, like not be, being able to see certain loved ones, having to be extra cautious with your behaviour and how you conduct yourself but um, I'm just glad that we're back and playing now to be honest. Well we wish you the very best of luck especially on Thursday. Okay thank thanks you. very much Andre. Cheers thanks.